Today, I'll be building Neymar's dream team, where the player he picks comes into the squad. And I'll be using this video from Oh My Goal. Who is the first player in the dream team? Victor Valdez. I've just realized that Victor Valdez is not on the game. And I think he's actually been retired for a few years now. So that's a great start. Let's see what goalkeepers he's played the most games with. Testegen for 78, Nana 62, and Donnarumma 42. He's only played 27 with Victor Valdez. I thought he'd be like 50. 100, not 27. To decide who our keeper is, Neymar's going to take a penalty against Testegen, Donnarumma, and Navas. First one to save it gets the spot. Neymar versus Testegen. I really hate this run-up. It just takes so long, but I'm going to go top left. Nice and confident. Time for Donnarumma. He's also his teammate, so maybe he knows where he's going to go. I'm going to go left-hand side again. Come on, Neymar. Oh, Donnarumma saves it, so he's in the team. I don't know if Donnarumma has any special cards or not. Oh, he has one. What's this? A team of the week. He's in the team. 88-rated goalkeeper. Let's go and find out who the right back is. Neymar, who's the right back going to be? Danny Alves. He's also not in the game. I actually know the perfect player we can put as a right back. He had a very, very good World Cup with Morocco. And he played loads of games with Neymar. And I just think he's one of the best right backs in the world. And that's Hakimi. Come on, Neymar. Give us a top centre back. Oh, Ramos. What a player he was. I want to know why he's chosen, him, though. An excellent central uh, defender. Central. He is indeed. He does score goals. He actually scored quite a lot of goals as a centre-back. I bet you didn't know, though, that Sergio Ramos never scored a goal for Spain at a major tournament. He did score 21 goals for his country, but they're all in qualifications or friendlies or the Nations League. Never a major tournament. That's crazy. I have a feeling that I have Ramos in my club already because I bought him last week and I just thought he was so good as a centre-back. Where is he? Ah, there he is. At least I don't have to buy him again, even though he cost me 735,000 coins. And he goes into the team and so far, the team's looking pretty good. At the end of the video, I'll be playing a game with this team. They must score a goal that's decided by this wheel. Otherwise, my most valuable player is getting discarded. At the moment, it is Sergio Ramos, but we still have eight more players to go. And I think Neymar's dream team is going to be pretty expensive. Who is Ramos's partner? Ooh, Thiago Silva. Him and Ramos at centre-back. I would not want to play against that. Oh, I didn't know that. He played with Thiago Silva and also against him. I assume against him, maybe when he's at Chelsea? What other time would he have played against him? I don't know. The fact that Thiago Silva is still playing at the age of 39 in the Premier League for Chelsea, it's just credit to him. Fair play. Does he have any special cards, though, that I can put my team? Oh, he has a Centurion card. Let me go and buy him, then. How much is he going to be? Special cards. There we go. Oh, none on the market. Eh, is he extinct? Oh, I think he was an SBC, and I didn't complete him. So it looks like his 84 rated card has to do, but he has uh, 45 acceleration and 50 55 sprint speed. Time for the left back, and the defense has been good so far. And it's going to be Marcelo. What a player he was for Real Madrid and Brazil. But I have a feeling he's not in the game. This is actually really interesting. He chose Marcelo for his dream team, but he's only played 53 matches with him. However, the left back that he played most matches with is Jordi Alba at 127 games. So I'm actually surprised he went with Marcelo. Alba, unfortunately, you didn't get into Neymar's dream team, but you can come into this one. Do not worry. Do you have a special card? Nope. How much is his gold? 83 rated. 1,000 coins. There we go. The back five is actually really really good. Donnarumma, Hakimi, Ramos, Silva and Alba. I would not want to match up against that in real life. That's for sure. Time for the midfield now. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Vinicius Jr. is the first player in midfield. I was not expecting that. He'll compete for the Ballon d'Or. Will Vinny ever win a Ballon d'Or against Haaland and Mbappe? I don't know. I just thought I'd check my club before going to Bayern because I know he's going to cost a lot. Nope, don't have him. Of course I don't. Vinny's going to be our most expensive player in the team. I can already feel it. How much is he going to cost? Ugh, three million coins. What's the difference? I mean, one's a blue team you honorable mentions. One's like a thunderstruck. I'm going to go for this one because it's a winger. And on the dream team, he's playing him as a right mid. So there we go. 2.5 million coins. And I got a feeling we're going to have a few more expensive players to come. Centre midfielders now. And I'm thinking maybe a Ronaldinho in this team. Kaka. I completely forgot about Kaka. Yeah, of course. Kaka's in the dream team. Kaka is one of my idols and he's also a friend. It's always a pleasure seeing him. Kaka has won so much in his football career. He's won Serie A titles, Champions League, La Ligas, but he also won the Ballon d'Or in 2007. And guess who came second and third? Messi and Ronaldo. I have Kaka in my club as a first owner. I actually don't remember packing him, but I'm going to go and waste some more coins and buy his Thunderstruck icon that is going to be a bit expensive, I think. Maybe this was a bad decision. I should just go with the 89. But I do have 6.4 million coins. So what's the worst that can happen? Maybe discard him at the end of the video because I don't score a certain type of goal. Anyway, he's in the team. Vinicius, Kaka, and Ronaldinho! Of course!
course he's going to be in the dream team. Ronaldinho is amazing. He's a talent. He's the best Brazilian player who ever played for Barcelona. Don't forget about yourself, Neymar. Let me see how much Ronaldinho is on the transfer market. Please don't be too much. I did not think he was this much. I only have 5.3 million coins. The problem is, if I buy him, I'll only have 1 million coins left. And how many more players do I need? Three more. I'm going to use my loan Ronaldinho because I feel like I'll need my coins for the last three players. And I don't want to regret it. Who's on the left-hand side next to Ronaldinho? Rubinho. I was not expecting that. I remember when he signed for Manchester City all those years ago and then went to AC Milan. He loved his skill moves. My idols, Robinho, I've admired him since I was little and always wanted to be like him. Neymar said that in 2019. Interesting. I'm sure Robinho is not in the game. No, he's not. No results were found. Oh, fantastic. Just found another video of Neymar picking a team and there's four midfielders. So to replace Robinho, I'm going to choose one of the four. First up is Thiago Motta. He's not in the game either. Who's on the left-hand side, Neymar? Nene? I remember him, but he's not in the game either. Give me someone in the game, please. Come on, who's on the right? David Beckham, he's in the game. So we can choose Beckham, but there's one more player left. Let's see who it is. Ronaldinho. Well, we've already got him. So I think we know who we're going to get. David Beckham, welcome to the dream team. Is he going to be 100,000 coins? Nope. 130? We'll snipe that. 140,000 coins. That's an absolute steal. And what we're going to do, we're going to put him on the right hand side. Look at that. Plus nine chemistry. I love it. Two more players to go. Time to finish off the team with the two strikers. Who's the first one going to be? Lionel Messi. Let me know in the comments who's the GOAT. Ronaldo or Messi? Pick one. Messi has three cards on the game, which is the gold rare, which is quite cheap. A radioactive, is it? Well, that's not a bad card, is it? 90 finishing, 92 agility, 97 dribbling. But he also has a team of the year card. <laughs> Look how many coins it costs. Literally double what I have. So I'm going to go and get the radioactive Messi, which is the next best thing. And if I buy this one, I save myself 1,000 coins. Every penny counts. Who's the last player in the dream team? Killing Mbappe. You just knew he was going to be Mbappe. He had to put him in the team. I still remember Mbappe's performance in the World Cup final against Argentina. It was crazy. And that half volley that he done in a World Cup final. And that one is a little bit cheaper. So there he is. He has been purchased. I mean, him and Messi up top. Woohoo! It's not a bad little duo, is it? Let's spin the world and see what type of goal I have to score. Otherwise, the most expensive player is getting discarded. I have to score with my goalkeeper. My goalkeeper is Donnarumma. For me to have a chance of scoring with Donnarumma, I'm going to have to play him as a striker. And David Beckham's in goal. Not going to be easy. Donnarumma? It is so weird. <laughs> Donnarumma, this is it. This is it. Shoot! Oh, my God. He's so bad. He's through. He's not offside. He's not offside. Shoot! Ah! Oh, penalty! That penalty. I'll take it with Donnarumma. Bottom left-hand corner. We scored with Donnarumma, but I'm going to go and score an outfield goal. Donnarumma in the box. Come on, hit it in. Oh, what a save. I'm going to try something. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a goal. What a goal with Donnarumma. <laughs> On his weak foot as well. I cannot believe that she's gone in. Thankfully, I get to keep my players. And if that's one of the best goals you've ever seen with a goalkeeper, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and give this video a watch because YouTube thinks you'll like it.